all around you. It lives and breathes, infecting your soul with darkness. It compounds your deepest fears, drawing you deeper into despair. Until, finally, when all hope is gone, you realize your darkest hour has only just begun. The Grudge. A. D. N. It's headphones, Neil! guys and welcome back to another episode of headphones neil reviews i'm your host as always headphones neil bringing you my next review in the 2021 month of horror reviews so for this particular review i'm going to be discussing the 2002 film juan the grudge so this is the film that the american version of the grudge was based on the one starring sarah michelle geller so from my memory of the american version at least <clears throat> the film was very well done. I thought that it had nice subtle hints of the t horror and terror and that sort of stuff. So in watching the original, I kind of wanted to not only keep a fresh take that, you know, keep the film separate, but also see how well um, the... Um, or the original version of, or how the remake of the American remake of the film drew its inspirations from the original and in general I want to say that the original holds up very well in that it has very good takes on giving you the chills um, having your hair stand up on, on their ends when something scary is happening like when the little boy it shows up for to the caretaker for the first time when the that big dark spirit blob thing is moving around and showing up all over the place um when the lady shows up in the caretaker's bed looking up at her all of that still provides for a very good um bit of or bits of terror and fear and that sort of stuff and in general, the progression of the film, as far as something dark and ominous happening, happening generally sh happened very, very well to the point where it, even after all this time, almost 20 years later, it still show, it still is a very scary film and could, it could be one of those things that's, um, not necessarily a period piece, but reflects very well of something that happened um, before and is kind of like a based on true events sort of thing. So in general, that all of that stuff worked well. And the thing that I think that they did particularly well was the uh, use or lack thereof of um, dark and overbearing music throughout the film. So when you're watching it, there are subtle hints of music um, throughout the film, but it's very soft and light and is used to build dread, but it doesn't, you know, overly go crazy that something scary is about to happen, something bad is going to happen, or anything like that. It consistently stays at about the same volume. And there's even a lot of points where there's even, where there's no music at all. So um, it plays very well into the idea that there's something terrible or dreadful that happened in this house, that something weird is going on. We don't know what, we don't know what happened before or why the people or like the grandmother are acting the way they're acting, why that um, husband and wife are acting the way they're ask, acting. So in so all of that plays very well when you're watching through the film. So I over, so if I was to grade the film now based on watching the film, I would give it a definite grade of an A, at least 90% or above. There's very little that I would say that I found particularly bad or things that I didn't like about the film just because it sets out to accomplish what is going on that 
when a terrible event happens in the house, the person can release a negative spirit that is um, that that kind of like basically like a memory upon the house that something bad happened, and they progressively move it forward over the air ages when new people move into the house. Um, if their friends show up or the, uh, people otherwise interact with all of that or with this that particular place where the bad event happened so overall i def i did like the f the film it um did make my um hair stand on end like i said with the boy and the girl and all of that with those various elements it did provide a good sense of unease all without providing all without using music um negatively against the, the um rest of the film so it was a good contrast with what they were trying to present uh, and i think that's for me one of those things that turns me off to other like action horror films that have a lot of music and heart pounding action to provide that scare um where this does the exact opposite so i could have i could see where that could have been a negative um against the film where if they had used a more heart pounding soundtrack or a more active action -y soundtrack it would not have made the film hold up nearly as well so that's all there is for this particular review so um i know there's not much to say other than that it's a good film it had a bunch of good elements at right around 90 minutes it's not a particularly long film but it does based on how they um, present the film feel like it was two hours two and a half hours like a much longer film than it was than it is and it provides the same amount of um, fear and scare tactics and horror that longer movies could have provide would provide and they don't really bog it down with unnecessary details or events or things like that they progress the story throughout to show the investigations um compare and contrast the present and the past and um show how the grudge is affecting the caretaker and her friends and then how it contrasts to the family that was there before the revelation of the family and the son and all of that and all of the things that happened before that are affecting um current events now so that's all there is for this particular um review so if you have any questions comments concerns feedback or anything like that you can find me on twitter at fatel n01 the website is headphones nail rot reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff and of course for early access to upcoming content um bonus content and all of that good stuff you can support the show on the patreon at patreon.com slash patel and zero one and of course if you pay attention to the youtube channel then i started my next gameplay um playthrough so in this case it's going to be the star wars game jedi fallen order playing i'm playing that via google stadia like i did doom 64 so you can um, get notified of those videos as they go um, public by subscribing and hitting the bell on the youtube channel at youtube.com slash patel and zero one and of course um as far as upcoming reviews be sure to look out um for those coming over the next week and a half there's going to be a special bonus review at the next day or two just because of an upcoming review that i'm working on but it reminded me of um a film or a couple of films that are currently streaming on disney plus so i'll get those reviews out shortly as well so look out for that coming soon and as of course like i mentioned if you're a patron you get early access to the schedule of upcoming content so be sure to support the show there to check, um, get that um, information early but thanks for tuning into this particular review and until next